recording. And Sean just dropped off, I see. So, and, um, so we can start the meeting for today. Welcome everybody. I hope you have you had all a good week. Um, today we are um, we are starting our uh, DNI working group meeting. Please feel free, everyone here. Feel free to add your name and the attendees and how you're I feeling have... today. Hi, hi, Sean. Okay. And I'm back. Sorry, <laughs> I was. I figured it. I figured it out. By the way, if you launch Zoom and log in first to any account, then you can switch accounts. But if you haven't logged in at all and your Zoom is closed when you open it, then you can't do it. All right. Cool. Full Zoom tip I just learned. So I was just saying that um, we are starting the meeting and I see that you have added your name already here. Um, the first uh, item on the agenda to discuss today is uh, for Elizabeth to add facilitation notes to the community handbook document do we have uh, I, I have a small update so actually uh, a question and a comment so my question to christy is were you able to access that document was it helpful do we need to make it more clear no it was good for the for the facilitation you mean yeah, yeah. it was it was a good um, awesome. it was able to Okay, perfect. Um, and then my comment is that um, I am not sure how to actually add something to the community handbook. I tried to add, uh, I, tried, I merged in an old PR from Sean. Sean had written up a nice doc about for newcomers yeah. and I tried to merge that in recently and I cannot get it to show up in the actual end get book. So I pinged Jeff Scratt on the issue and I reached out to him yeah. on Slack. So I'm hoping that he responds to me because I also checked with Kevin and Kevin has no idea how to get that to work either so so we have like a gap between this and the actual handbook i'm sure there's a i'm sure there's a build process that has to be executed it may but i don't know what it is i know georg knows what it is because he set it up okay so like this is like with auger when i do a release and i have new documentation i have to go to read the docs.io to generate the new documentation. So I suspect there's a similar process that has to be run. Okay. To, yeah. All hopefully, right. Well, I have no I'll, idea what it is. Yeah, hopefully Jaskrat reaches out. Um, because I added it actually adds an, an actual section for newcomers, a heading section mm -hmm. and a doc. So um yeah, it'll be great if we have that document. And it kind of goes back to the whole, you know, handing off of projects. Like if Georg is the only one who knows how it works and then he's not around, then like what happens then? You know, like, I, so hopefully Josh can document that process for us um, and in future, you know, Google summer code projects, like stuff is documented. So we know how to continue <laughs> the work forward after they're gone. So working on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listening to you talk, we probably need, uh, at least you, Elizabeth, probably need like a master list of like our Zoom login our Git book login, if we go with discourse, like a discourse login, um, our, yeah, web, our WordPress stuff, like we have all these. In, um, yeah, that's kept in LastPass right now. So, um, okay. but yeah, you're right. Like that stuff needs to be documented in an internal place yeah. so that, you know, project admins can read it, but obviously not like public. So, yeah. You know, would get that. So um, it kind of goes back to that idea of having like an internal wiki or an internal community handbook that's private but public ish to a, a group of a you know a fairly substantial group of of chaos kind of core members i guess yeah no i i agree um okay so working on we don't, we don't have that many but we have enough that it matters yeah agreed even like our social like twitter yeah um if we get rid of the mail list then that's a moot point there what did you merge in here? I'm not seeing any recent. Uh, I merged it. If you, I merged it a myself. week ago. Yeah, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it was a pull request from Sean from like July of last year. So, okay. um, <laughs> thanks, Sean, for doing sure. that. Work. That never. Yeah, happened. but hey, I was merging pull requests that Matt made, like in November, earlier this week. So yes, I I, I lose track of these things sometimes myself. 
So my my branch is the most up to date branch, but it, you're right, Matt. There is a disconnect between what's here now and what's being shown on the community handbook. Okay. Site. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So maybe did somebody else? Oh, maybe yeah, Georg. Okay. Cool. Okay, great. So the next item here on the agenda, we have uh, Elizabeth to delete the old repo. I think that this is done, right? It is. Yes, yes. And it, I, I was sweating bullets the whole time. Did you just download it? Well, Did I didn't because um, it's all still in the GitHub history. So we can yeah, just go back and see true. it. So okay. I was like, okay, bring it in. It's all right. It'll, it'll work out. <laughs> I channeled my inner mat and cleansed the repo, so we're good. Great. Um, next, uh, we have the update for the GSOC proposal um, from Matt. Hey, um, I am here. I um, completely missed this after two weeks. Really sorry about that. Um, just I uh, got a little overloaded, so... Um, I think this is still uh, valuable to pursue, but not necessarily with the summer of code, now that the deadline's been met. Maybe this would be better in a Google season of docs, because it seems like that would apply to our documentation specifically. Yeah. Or, you know, another mentorship program or something. That's a good, I think that's a good idea. We've never done. Have we done? Season? Oh, we did. I think Can we I did that one time. The handbook. That's well, where the handbook was, came from. Yeah. Yeah, it was okay. Wildly, it, that it's a, such a different funding and timing model. Well, I think there's no that. funding. <laughs> oh, is it no? I thought at one point they had some funding. Maybe. But maybe you twenty twenty. What's that? Uh, I think twenty twenty we did. Okay. It was really beneficial to the chaos project and hopefully the people who uh, were involved as mentors and mentees. So it might be good to do that again. I feel like Shoya did that also. She did. I think that's how she came to the community originally. I think so too. I think you're right. But that's in the fall, like November, October. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I think okay. plus one. And like, I that. guess that the yeah, also the deadline is by the end of March. So for that, we have plenty of time to. The the season of docs deadline is the end of March. OK, yes, good to as, know. As, really... Do you have, Christy, do you have a link to that that you could drop in here? <clears throat> yeah, I can quickly check it now. OK. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Yes. It. Thanks. Okay. We should, we should definitely do this. There's zero reason, at least in my mind, for us to not, to not. Well, okay. Organization. We missed the application. Well, no, we didn't. We're, okay. Yeah, okay. we can. Yeah, we should totally do that. And I think, um, and is there any funding? I mean, because I can think of a bunch, I can think of several docs projects <laughs> if there's funding. But I'm sure there is um, funding. I read. Uh, I don't know where I got that information, but yeah, I can look that up separately. We don't have to spend meeting time on it. I just search for a dollar sign. But there is, there is, I'm sure. Okay. Just how they find it. Okay. Right, right on. It's good to have this on the like horizon. Mm -hmm. So we jump to the other item, right? 
Um, yeah, uh, maybe who, who who is taking this up? Um, I had Sean saying he's going to look up some details. Say that again, Enoch. Yeah. Um, um, who is taking this up? Um, the season of dogs. Uh, Who's going to have a No, 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 no. I had um, there is um, information you're looking for to determine whether we are going for it or not. So I'm like, who is taking up the initiative? Is it you or Sean? I had Sean saying he's going to look up some information. Oh. Yeah, put Sean down. Yeah, put me down. <laughs> Sean did the season of the docs. Yeah, I'm looking up the yeah. stuff right now. So if you could, Sean, can you submit the org app? Um, yeah, I can. I can do that. And what I'm what I'm looking at is, um, yeah. And we follow the same process as <clears throat> summer of code. Okay. Like we just do the markdown files. You know what I mean? Where we have ideas. Yep. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at. Um, do we have? Do you know if we have a community collective or an open collective account for chaos? Okay. <laughs> I'll need that information. Okay. Because that's so they they give us money and then we pay the people through there. It's a bit different. Than okay. Summer of code. Okay. Yep, I have it. So we yeah, we get 40. We had to open that because of the Google programs. Yeah. And the project will get between each project will get between five and fifteen thousand US dollars. And we get 40% after hiring the writer. Okay and 60% after completion, which can go through the end of this year. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll share this link that I'm looking at. What do you need from me on the open collective thing? Just like- Like whatever our account information is, like if there's a login or something, because they'll need, they need it set up. And since we already have it set up, um, I just assume search, just I need a login. Just search it. chaos on Open Collective and see if okay. you the information that you need there. And if not, then I'll log in. Let's see. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, let me search for chaos. But I don't. I think everything that I would need is probably behind the sign-in. But I'm checking. Probably, I can get it for you. Okay. Just send me a oh. message. No, actually, we have um. Yeah, I. I. Yeah, I can't. I can't see the information I would need to like give them account access, but I can see that we have an annual budget of twenty nine hundred dollars or something. Why do they need our account access? I mean, they might just like a yeah. Like a I'll go through it. I'll go through it and uh, see if if I if I don't need to log in. But my okay. guess is there's probably something behind the paywall that I would need. But okay. I'll start first. Okay. So yeah, I will need to log in because I'll have to create an account for every project. Okay, I'll I'll send you that. Okay, so we can move to the other item. Yep. Right. Sorry. No worries. Uh, so the other thing to discuss is the DNI pro uh, project board. We can we can quickly check it out. If there are things we can work on. So I see here at the task and to dos. This is what we look up first, right? The new idea interview campaign with underrepresented groups in open source. It's suggested by Justin. We can probably have a look if anyone would like to take it over or if we want to continue with it. The time, you know, we've talked about this just in the sense of like kind of what this is. You can see it over here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, I wouldn't mind. 
kind of exploring this a little bit more. I'll give you a chance to read it here. Okay, so it looks like the the main idea to conduct this um, these campaigns are to look at what resources we need to make our work better. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for the metrics, you know, one of the things maybe um, so. I think from my understanding is he wants to run a series of interviews or something similar um, that would talk to event organizers and really kind of help under so we understand what uh, the DEI concerns are within their own with within their own events. And I'm wondering, you know, maybe we could submit to a conference coming up where we would do like a focus group you know, or invite event organizers, it might be a little bit more efficient. We'd be on site, we'd have event organizers probably, or people who have been involved in event organization. Um, and we could just run a, a small session, like even a birds of a feather session or something like that to kind of solicit ideas. I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. I've seen people have a lot of success with those. Um, and I, I've been in uh, really good sessions like that. I think it's important that if we do that, we need to publicize it like way ahead of time uh, and say we're doing this so that we uh, can ensure that people will, the, the relevant people will show up basically. Yep, I agree. So then the question would be when would be the next, maybe like ChaosCon OSS EU? That could be something that would be submitted there. Mm -hmm. OSS EUs in Dublin in the fall. I mean, I don't know that this is a huge pressing issue, just in part of, we'll talk about maybe why a little bit later with technical debt. But this is this the same? I can't um, really see. Is this the um, two ninety four? Yeah, so I think the last comment we left, we talked about it a couple weeks ago and um, we decided at the time to kind of hold this, but the timing with OSSEU would work or ChaosCon with OSSEU would work based on kind of what our discussion was last time. So I don't know, yeah. Okay, so you're saying that this, that that suggestion would be perhaps pretty good. Yeah, it would just be okay. in, a, in alignment with what our previous conversations have been about, um, you know, because we do have such a, a queue already. And we also have the backlog of old metrics to review now. So if we were to do something sooner than later, it would just give us ourselves more work. <laughs> more work. So um, we have plenty of that already. So um, yeah. Okay, in September? I can also help out here to, to contact um, people that I know that work in the event organization. So that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could try to figure out a way to do perhaps a hybrid because OSS EU is a pay. If you give a talk, though, you generally get the it's free. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, what that's worth. Okay. Okay. And, and honestly, too, I mean, if we have this set up as a birds of a feather session, like have a template for questions that we would ask, it'd be something that would probably be easy enough to run at, you know, whatever MozFest or All Things Open or any other events that aren't necessarily LF related events. Yeah. Great. So, 
One other, sorry, one other quick point on that. I don't know that that was originally geared to specifically for events. I feel like that suggestion from Justin was on all of our DEI metrics. Oh. Like what pockets are we missing? What gaps do we have just based on our own biases and our oh, own? Okay. So just a point of clarification, it could be something a little broader if we wanted it to be. Okay. I, my brain is Actually, on that project board was there a column for like on hold or like to revisit later i don't remember now and i'm not sure how to see that so the way that you see the project board is you go to projects up here on top and then you should see, I think there's a couple projects, projects beta, but projects right here. It's a little bit buried. I agree. But then there's the, do you see it? Yes. Yes. And to your point, no, we don't, but we can change any of, like, we could add a column here. This was just Justin's first pass. Okay. Kind of thinking through. If I figure a weird noise, it's a dog that's. <laughs> I recognize the sound of a dog. <laughs> and having good dreams. <laughs> um, so we could definitely add a column, which would you're suggesting like move this, like it's not yeah. really a to do. Not yet. Yeah, it's more of like it? I don't know, um, on hold or um, like to revisit later or something like that. Like. Um, that's how I do when I do my own projects, like my for my stuff, I put it on hold, which tells me that I don't have to worry about that, but it's still open. And then okay. there's usually like a place to put a follow up date that will like prompt me like, oh, now it's time to take it off hold and re oh, look at that. Reactivate. Yeah, done. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. I feel better now. <laughs> this is good. Okay, so. The other thing we have here are the release notes, the matrix release notes opened by Elizabeth. I think that's just for Kevin's benefit when he does the metrics release, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the dream's about. I hope it's good. <laughs> squirrels. I know, yes, squirrels, bunnies, <laughs> raccoons. You saw a possum today. That was pretty exciting. That, there you go. That's what the Ooh, dream's about. Uh -huh. What was that thing? Um, so that one, I, I, I don't know if we put it under completed yet. Probably not. Because Kevin's still doing his thing with it, but I don't think we need to actually take any action. No, and it's just, it is kind of an in-progress thing. Yeah. This is So basically all that this is, is... Um, we this is the metric that we use or the metric the issue that we use to just enter the completed metrics so these are the metrics that are released by the the dei working group and so then kevin who really kind of leads um the effort to assemble all the metrics from the different working groups he he then has just an issue he can go look at <laughs> and see okay these are the two metrics he doesn't have to like dig through the entire repository to figure it out so that's all that this is okay so and then he just posts this matrix online right yeah so then he there's a whole process by which he kind of pulls the new markdown file that was created for that metric and then gets it into a pdf and gets it onto the website we, we have a somewhat automated process to get parts of that done so and he added this issue because honestly, like a year and a half or two years ago, we didn't have this. And it, I think he spent like hours just digging through repositories, just trying to figure out what were the new metrics. And it was a real, it was a real hassle for him. So that's all that that is. Cool. 
making other people's life a little bit easier. Yeah, I think he was like, come on, people, can we <laughs> do better? <laughs> Throw me a bone here. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so the other thing that's in progress, so we can quickly jump to the in progress, that is including naming checklist. Uh, let's see what to And now, so we can just say now, this is a great idea. <laughs> or good. Yes. And I'm going to keep, I think it's okay to keep this in progress because actually, let me go back to this. Um, like that. Cool. Good. Okay, and the other thing we have is matrix tracking work 2022. Take a look. Oh, okay. Um, this is this is an issue that I think is ongoing too. This, this is just for us to review the old metrics. So essentially, um, in 2022, we want to do two things in all of our working groups. One is that's fine as we release new metrics, but one of our concerns and this is an item on the agenda a little bit later, but I can talk about it now, is that as we continue to release new metrics, some of our metrics from three or four years ago also need to be revisited. That, you know, what we wrote four years ago, <laughs> we've learned a lot and we write slightly differently after four years. I was thinking today on, on when I was taking a walk, I think it'd be like writing a paper where the first half of the paper was written like four years ago and you just keep writing the back half of the paper without ever going back to the beginning. Like and then it becomes discombobulated and yeah. Apparent. Yes. They're two different things almost at that point. So based on what we've learned, kind of writing in this this back half of the paper, I think we need to take what we've learned and go back and review our old metrics. Um and everybody agrees. And so Elizabeth pointed out in the community call yesterday that by not looking at our old metrics we're really inheriting quite a bit of technical debt like we just keep piling stuff on <laughs> to the pile without going back and revisiting so i think the hope is is that we can really review those metrics um elizabeth and i maybe i can put this in here um We're going to be looking at each of the working groups to take a look at this list of metrics here that have been released and we may look at some of them for example sponsorship i'm totally making that up but we may look at sponsorship and be like that one's all that one actually looks pretty good it probably doesn't need to be re-reviewed right now so it's not really the responsibility of the working group to decide which 10 of these 20 need to be re-reviewed. Elizabeth and Kevin and I are actually going to be doing that. And Matt, I don't know uh, if you assumed the same thing because we haven't chatted about it since yesterday, but I was kind of, I'm willing to like actually go in and make those suggested changes prior to bringing it to the working group. Since some of them are pretty straightforward as far as adding, making sure the disclaimers are in there, yeah. et cetera. So I, like, I don't mind actually starting that work on those individual right. metrics. Then that way the working group can just do like take a 10 minute session, look it over 
and sign off or add anything final to it? Um, I think too, I don't know what your thoughts are, but you know, normally we like to have our PRs reviewed, but honestly, if it's adding a disclaimer, I I'm kind of okay with you just <laughs> committing doing that part. Yeah, directly. There's really nothing like that's just an auto review. I don't know yeah. what people, if that's totally violates <laughs> GitHub workflow. I'm not sure. <laughs> Like you're not adding anything. You're just, you're copy and pasting like an ethics disclaimer. Yeah. That has already been approved actually. It'd be nice if we could someday, this is off topic, but have, have like those metrics generated dynamically where like we're pulling from a database, like that word, those words come from one place. And that way, if it changes, it changes in all the, you know what I mean? Yeah, actually, can you do that in Google Docs? Have a Google Doc template? You know what I mean? Like instead of just starting blank templates, it seems, it doesn't seem that far, far I out. Know. I don't know. Hmm, we can look at it. Yeah. Um. Because then, to your point, then then we'd have all the headers in place. We wouldn't have to like copy and paste it out of an old metric. We'd have all the headers in place. We'd have all the disclaimers in place. Like just through a couple of keystrokes, would be a good idea. Okay. Thank you. I'm done. Great. So, is there a rule on how often do you go back to the matrix to do the changes, or? Not really. We just, I think we kind of started realizing that we should do this only in 2021. Mm -hmm. And I think we thought the working groups since the last, like in the last six months, I think we thought the working groups would do more of this work, the review, and it just really hasn't happened through no fault of anybody. They just, I think the working groups were working on other things. They were working on like badging, they were working on new metrics and my guess is, at least in my mind, I would always kind of think about re-reviewing an old metric and I'm like, ah, it's probably fine. <laughs> Let's work on a new one. You know, like it just wasn't as, it didn't draw me in very much. So that's, that's all. Okay. Cool. So I think that we are in the, okay, so we have some more time. I was wondering if we are late. <laughs> we have 13 minutes. <laughs> yeah. The other topic we have here is the badging updates. Probably you, Elizabeth, and Ruth might have some updates on that. Yeah, so I'm actually going to um, toss the ball to Matt and Enoch, who have done most of the updates. Um, the only quick thing I want to mention is um, if you haven't filled the doodle out, please do that. Um, we're trying to finalize everything around Monday-ish, if we can. So. Um, please fill that out, but um, a lot of the work that's been going on right now is between Matt and Enoch, who have been working tirelessly to improve the documentation around the bodging, the bodging, the bodging bot, the bodging, <laughs> the bodging bot. Um, British pronunciation. <laughs> so I will let them talk about that. Okay. Or I can. <laughs> Matt, Matt, or Enoch? <laughs> yeah, I thought Matt was going to talk about that. <laughs> I am, um, we have made some, um, I could call it a roadmap. Um, um, I don't know whether the document was actually shared in the minutes. I, yeah, can I, I, I'll drop it in chat. Oh, sure. So, um, where we were we, we had made a document that links to very many other documents and that document is actually having um oh yeah sure there it is so like um we we had shared last time the things we wanted to improve but number one most importantly and they're listed in priority from the start to the bottom down here but as you go down the list you realize um some of the some of the issues support the other and um, doing one will actually integrate into starting to work on the other. But at the moment, 
we are trying to improve the documentation of the budgeting board so that we make it easy for whoever will want to jump onto it and also whoever will want to understand how the boat works in, and how all that relates into the budging initiative. So um, I and Mart are, and any other person who may want to join in, always uh, meet on Mondays to meet always in the evening, but for Mart and very many others of you, it's in the morning where we actually share our, our progress for whatever we've been tasked to do within the week. So we hope by next meeting, we shall have the documentation already there and um, we could be going on to the other items down the list. So as you see those links there on every task connect to a certain document where we shall be, where we shall be documenting everything um, for public consumption so that if anybody wants to refer to them, they can always follow up easily without um, having a lot of hurdles. Right now, there is actually nothing in some of them. And, um, but um, as we go on, they'll be populated with some information. Or maybe even we could find better ways of tracking some of the information that goes down there. But for now, that's, um, that's a brief update about how we are doing with the budging bot. This is great. Thanks, Enoch, and thanks, Matt. Um, a couple of questions. One, would it would it make sense to produce another project for the badging bot in the DEI repository? What 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 does that mean? You could say that in other words. Yeah. So right now we have this project board that you see on the screen. Yep. Sure. It's kind of for for the DEI working group as a whole. Yeah, but if you wanted to track your progress, we could make another project. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that now. Um, I I had that in mind actually the previous time I was meeting with Mart. I was thinking of creating um a project board right into GitHub and um we link it to our repository. Mm -hmm. But um, at the moment, since um, we are not actually yet into, I think that can come in when we are trying to, when we have reached the execution of the other items. But for now, since we are only working on the documentation, um, it was something that I actually didn't bring up too much because I was like, I think this is too early to bring up, but it's okay. something I was thinking of to bring up. Um, because actually it's easier to track from a project board and also assign and um, link several other things than actually yeah. having it in um, a lot of documents. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. Okay, and we may, if you choose to do that, there may be a few things we want to add, like some issue labels, if you start mm -hmm. using the DEI issue space, yeah. if you start using this, we could add a badging bot label, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Sure. I think Matt, that's a good idea too, because now when um oh no, there are two mats. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think Elizabeth helped me out last time. It was like Matt C and Matt G. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was talking to Matt C that I think that's a good idea that um we can have those um that this um, project broken down into tasks and actually labels assigned to them so that um, we know how to filter out um, the particular tasks. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a valid thing. Okay, well, just let just know that it's there if you'd like to go that route. Yeah, sure. I think um, we can bring it up and see how we organize it. And okay. Jump on it anytime, anytime we're ready to do so. But Sounds that's good. cool. 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 Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Maybe if there is any other submission or question about um, that particular thing. No, this is good. Okay, thank you. The others. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I remember was um we brought this up um in the <clears throat> in the budging board the meeting before this one and um. I was trying to get clarity on where actually this, <clears throat> sorry about that, 
where actually this should be put, but um, Elizabeth and Matt were guided us on that um, we can have the deeper discussions about the budging updates and particularly the boat in the other meeting, then we can just come here to give just an overview of everything so that um, we do not um, we do not have two meetings for one thing. So that was something I just thought um, that if we just skim here through a lot of information, maybe <laughs> we are like, for those who want to know more, you can come to the meeting before this one. And yeah, but that's what I wanted to put out. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next item on our agenda is the two year anniversary and connection with mentoring programs. Oh, well, that two year anniversary will just go in with the celebration. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking of that actually. That's the yeah, that's the doodle poll that got sent around. Yeah. Okay. And then and the mentoring thing, that was just, I think we have submitted or is are submitting the badging bot work with she code Africa. Is that correct? No, the badging bot stuff will go with GSOC. Um, oh, we have a separate okay. bot that's a Slack bot that will oh, go with okay, okay. newcomers. It's a little more generic okay. to all newcomers. Gotcha. Okay. So, and we do have a GSOC badging bot okay. on the list of ideas. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Great. Um, the other item we have here is the matrix freeze. That, yeah, I can speak to that. I just wanted to let everybody know that we do have two metrics that will go under public review for the next month, and that's project demographics and event accessibility. I do recommend that everybody, I don't have the links in here, maybe somebody could drop the links to the PRs in there, but um, that if you uh, were a contributor to one of these metrics and you don't see your name listed in the contributors down at the bottom of the metrics, um, just feel free to add a PR to include yourself as a contributor. No problem there. Uh, we don't want to miss anybody, but we also don't want to have anybody on the list that doesn't want to be on the list. Um, so I think, honestly, I think we're all good just with respect to the metrics this round. So just, just two, yep. And then the technical debt concerns is something we talked about earlier, which is the continued release of metrics without the reevaluation of prior metrics. But I think we're building a process to, to address that. Thank you for the update, Matt. Um, the, Sorry, um, I have a quick question about that. Matt, do you, who, her, who merges those PRs in? Is that Kevin? Or do we, are we supposed to do that for Kevin? We are supposed to do that for Kevin. Okay. Well, so I, can I can merge yours. Do you want to merge mine? Yeah, that's fine. We'll cross merge. Yeah, cross merge. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yep. And make sure your issues and, you know, how like, there's this like weird kind of like process of <laughs> reintegrating issues and PRs and Cross-linking, yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. Great. I think that we have only two more minutes left, right? Yeah. Okay. So do we want to maybe uh, go quickly over the website update? Yeah, I can just say it really quickly. I think a lot of you know we're reworking the Chaos website, kind of starting right about now, probably. Just to talk about like what are the elements that we want we've started talking about say like a, a forum on the website and knowledge bases like we've been starting to talk about kind of what are the things that we would like to do. Um, there's going to be work on updating the website that's occurring in the summer, May, June, June, July kind of thing. Um, and I think it's part of that too that's relevant to the DEI working group, we are really going to uh, think about um, accessibility on the website and we do actually have. Uh, funds to support uh, people who do accessibility, website accessibility work. I think uh, Georgia Fulan, I think her, 
her team does website accessibility work. Christy, Sean, Elizabeth, you all know Georgia. Um, so we may be working with them to kind of work with us on accessibility concerns. And I added that second bullet because I was talking to Kevin yesterday um, about the knowledge base stuff and we got on the topic of accessibility and he he's pretty certain that our website, like whatever modules we're using for for WordPress, those mm -hmm. have already kind of passed a first test Great. of accessibility but baked in. So I just wasn't sure if that changes our needs for an accessibility quote unquote audit. Okay. Or what? But I just wanted to make sure that that was brought up somewhere. So maybe okay. So maybe like we could when we're doing the accessibility work, we could kind of have a pretty sure this like a column. <laughs> pretty sure this is good with respect to accessibility and another column like i don't really know we should probably get a second opinion yeah i think that's that's makes sense okay okay well, that's the update christy just that we're working on this okay thank you and one so it looks like the like, like we are done with the agenda the only thing that i forgot in the beginning of the meeting is to decide for the next facilitator of the other meeting would like to okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you, Sean. Sean Gaggins. All right. Okay, so looks like this was the meeting for this week. And thank you all for joining us and see you all next week. And great job. See you next week. Uh, Thanks, yeah, Christy. Yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Bye. Have a great yeah. day. Bye. Yeah. Bye.